Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft Void Hero Map. If you guys have missed out on any episodes, like always, you can go back and check out the playlist if you want to get caught up on the ones you have not yet seen. For today, let's go ahead and get somebody added on in to the comments garden and also the member zone. We're going to need new signs. Look at that. We filled up signs. So uh, while I'm grabbing a couple signs here, if you want to know how to get added in to either of those zones, as for the comment zone, drop me a good comment, a suggestion, something you want to see me do or build, or just a nice comment, and you could get added to the comment garden. And then as for the member zone, if you want to help support the channel, it's only 99 cents a month, and that will get you a bunch of cool perks. You get access to a 24-7 cross-platform vanilla Minecraft server that you could join whenever you want, or with me on uh, Fridays when I'm going to be streaming that. And uh, soon here, once 1.21 comes out, we're going to be starting Season 3 of that server. So it's going to be a lot of cool stuff going on. So definitely check that out if that's something you'd be interested in. But anyways, let's go ahead and throw our new sign up here. And today we are adding... Today we're adding Joe Mo for their comment. They said... They said, next episode, no falling in the void. I'm going to absolutely try this time. I think it's been every episode that we've had so far... There's been a death of mine in the void. And so today we're going to break that record. Thanks to Joe Mo dropping a good comment. But anyways, Joe Mo, welcome to the comment garden. Much appreciated on the comment. So yeah, go ahead and drop me some good comments like Joe Mo and these other folks if you want to get added up onto the comment garden. As for the member zone, today we are going to be adding Sir Wolf. Woods. We're adding them for 10 months of membership. Holy schmoly, much appreciated. Thanks for that one. And uh, like I said, if you want to get added to the member zone, that's only 99 cents, and that gets you a bunch of cool perks. You will get uh, to join the Minecraft server and play in Season 3 of the member SMP, which is a lot of fun. Oh boy, we have a visitor. Good God. Is he going to be valuable? Oh, maybe. Pumpkin? Uh, I think pumpkin could be handy, right? Let's go ahead and grab some of my emeralds. I got a decent stash, and let's buy off some pumpkins because we can uh, we can start a pumpkin farm. Very nice. I think I need some snow. There's, I think there was something. Uh, let me check. There's an achievement or an advancement. Yeah, use an igloo fragment from a stray or snow golem. So we can uh, we can make a snow golem and achieve that. That is if I have any snow. Oh, I do have snowballs. Okay, nice. Very nice. So we're going to put one of these away. Actually, we'll put all of them away. We'll only take one of them. And uh, we're going to go ahead and grow that at uh, some point. We'll, we'll have to expand out the farm. I'm going to need to do that anyway. I'll have to do that like between episodes. I was trying to figure out. I think, I think I'll probably go this way with it. Like we'll go down a layer and we'll just... We'll, probably build the next farm down here because uh, i got potatoes carrots all that stuff is growing out the wazoo going bonkers out here did he have anything else valuable uh puffer fish not so much oh maybe melon do we want melon too is there any advancement that has to do with melon i don't think there would be i think i'm gonna pass on that i think we're i think we're good on him oh by the way uh since the last one i got more cows i don't remember did i get cows in the last one did i have two cows I don't remember if I had multiple cow cows, but uh, now we have a lot of cows, and I uh, separated out the pens here, so we've got chicken and sheep. I don't know why, why they're together. I just kind of left them like that because that's how it was, but uh, anyways, we got chicken and sheep, and we got cows, so pretty soon here we can get um, some enchantment going. I think I'll probably, like I said, I'll just have to do some, uh, I'll just have to do some off-camera grindage and get like all the leather and all the paper and stuff that I need. Oh, you know what? I didn't think of that. Sugarcane. Do I have sugarcane? I never started a sugarcane farm, and I think that's probably because I don't have sugarcane. How do we go about getting that? Maybe that's just one of those things I'm going to get from uh, throwing some overworld fragments or something like that. But anyways, let's make a snow golem. I don't know how this is going to work here. Is he going to survive in uh, mushroom biome? Oh, there we got our seeds, so we're, we're chilling on that. Are you going to live here? Do I have to slay him? Because it um, it says use an igloo fragment obtained from a stray or snow golem. He seems nice, but 
I may have to... Unfortunately... We did, in fact, get an igloo fragment. So, we can go ahead and throw that. We got new fragments. Very nice. You, uh, you love to see it. And we get some of our snow back for our, for our trouble here. I feel bad about having to do that. I wish it would have been a stray, but... I didn't get any strays. Alright, so over in this zone where we've been throwing all our stuff here. Let's go ahead and, uh, let's... Maybe I should make an area to do this. Alright, just a little bit of uh, an expansion out here. And we'll throw this here. And we get an igloo. Okay, very nice. We got chills. Heck yeah, another one down. Another advancement down. Oh, obtain an iron block. That's easy enough. We could do that. But let's, uh... Oh, this looks like it does, in fact, have... Oh, no, 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 no! Joe Mo, I failed! <laughs> God dang it! I can't believe I've done this. I failed Joe Mo. There's one task. <laughs> Oh, well, we're getting death fragments, though. It's it's still kind of handy, right? Well, uh, anyway, let's go over to our bamboo. I also expanded the bamboo farm out. I uh, added another block. Could always add more, but that seems to be pretty pretty efficient because, like, that was empty when we started, and now we have 36, so not too shabby. We're going to go ahead and grab uh, just a few blocks here so that way we can uh, go ahead and try and, like, explore this here igloo situation because there is an underside to it in the same exact spot <laughs> twice in the same exact spot I can't believe I've done this this needs uh, a little bit of safety proofing all right we could have got a bed this way we got a we got a nice a nice fancy bed here the original red bed and here we go we're, we're diving on down I'm kind of glad it actually comes with this because this is pretty cool because I don't know if this is an advancement, is it? If it is, it's one that we've not yet, like, unlocked. But, uh, yeah, there's usually there's, an, like, a regular advancement for this. And then we have this guy. So we could actually, like, create a little bit of a villager trading farm down here also. And uh, this is good because once we heal this one, I think that gives us, like, a little bit of a, a little bit of an extra deal or something. I think they, they give you a discount for, like, healing them. But anyways, let's, uh... Let's weaken the mans, and let's apple the mans. And uh, we'll let him do his thing here. We also get a little bit more apples and uh, gold nuggets. Not the most useful stuff, but, you know. But this is actually kind of useful. We have a brewing stand now, but no blaze powder in it. So speaking of blaze powder, I think another good kind of... Oh, that was silverfish, wasn't it? What the frig? Uh, I was trying to break the brewing stand. I think another good... Um, Thing we could keep doing today is throwing those nether fragments i think those are going to be pretty useful let's actually go like take inventory on our fragment situation here all right so we do have some new fragments i think we got this one from killing the enderman we have an island fragment which i'm assuming is going to be end uh, city stuff we have a treasure fragment which we've thrown before pyramid fragment we've thrown before stronghold fragment for that i'm going to need to build up to y equals 10. doesn't say anything about needing blocks um, above it it just says it needs to be at y equals 10 so we could uh, we could do that I say for now we start out with throwing some more of these nether fragments I'm just grabbing some of these random blocks because we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna build out with some random blocks actually let's get a uh, let's get a nap first uh, by the way once again if this is a map that you'd be interested in checking out and playing through um, the link is down in the description like always so any one of these videos that you end up catching or if you watched all of them, I appreciate that. And uh, yeah, you can go ahead and click that link and it'll take you to the download page. So if you're playing on Java, you're able to go ahead and download this map and play it. But yeah, definitely a pretty cool map. I'm glad I uh, got into it. All right, so there we go. We have a little bit of a random platform where we can go ahead and throw another fragment. And what is that? Oh, it's like a portal, a ruined portal um, zone. We get a little bit of a... Curse of Binding Leggings. That sounds horrible. I nearly just shift clicked it on those and threw them on, but we did. We're getting some like decent gold tools. The uh, armor is all right. We're getting like we got prop for golden boots, which is not like the most useful. It's gonna break real soon, but um, it's something, you know. We're, we're getting a little bit of armor, and the boots are handy for the piglins and stuff, you know. But yeah, I guess it's a good, decent source of obsidian also, because we could kind of like just put water down. 
Because this is nether, but it's not like technically nether, I think. Or is it? Like, if I put water down, is it gonna... I don't know. I don't actually know about that. But anyways, that... I, our platform didn't even, like, really get touched here. So we're gonna throw another one. We're gonna throw it right there. Nice. Oh, nice, actually. A blaze spawner. I was just... Nope. Fudge. I was just talking about wanting blazes. Brig. I'm gonna die. What we get... And it's not even, uh, it's not even a spawner, is it? I didn't get any blaze rods. I wish you would come over here. He's probably the one who dropped the blaze rod, too, of course. I think what this is is just, a, a fortress. I think it's just a little tiny portion of fortress. All right, let's keep on throwing these fragments. Oh, we have the gas spawner. I don't know that I want that. Do we need tears for much? Go on, get. I don't think we want gas to be spawning all the time, to be honest with you. That got me a deep fragment. Throw the fragment to restore a small part of the world. Oh, I think, I'm wondering if, is that like deep dark? Is that what that's saying? Yeah, I'm thinking that might be a deep dark fragment. That's kind of handy. All right, we're gonna throw one this away. Oh boy, another one of these. I should have put my shield on. What was I thinking? Oh, I just got a wither skull? Yo, that's kind of bonkers. Stay in this zone. I got a, I got a freaking blaze rod. Heck yeah. Can't believe I got a wither skeleton skull. That's kind of insane. Ooh, a golden chest plate. We're actually getting armored up here a decent bit too. Golden horse armor, not the most useful because like I'm not really using horses out here. Alrighty, so I'm going to go ahead and throw one more of these nether fragments. And then we're going to go ahead and try the, the deep dark fragment, I think. Oh, fudge. Fudge, that's bad. I need I need blocks or something. Frig, that's really bad. He's not following, is he? Fudge, fudge! He's gonna disappear now, too. God dang it. I wasn't ready for it. I had no blocks on me. And I didn't have my shield on. I should have had my shield on. He's gonna despawn now, I think. Wait, how did you get all the way over here? That's not supposed to happen. But he's gonna break my shield down when he hits me with the axe, I think, so... I don't know if the shield would have been that useful. Is he still there? Or is that somebody else? That's somebody else. Frig, we lost another one. God dang it. I'm wondering if, like, killing them is actually useful. Hey, we're getting a golden helmet. Sick. Banner pattern. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Block of iron. That busts out an advancement for me. Very nice. We have, we've we yet to get a pillager outpost uh, fragment, I think. Or the Woodland Mansion one. But we have the Deep Fragment, so we can go and try that one out. Oh, I didn't even notice that this was a fragment. I thought this was just a, um... I thought that this was just a Spider Eye. But it's a Malice Fragment. Throw the Fragment to restore a part of the world. What does Malice Fragment do? That, I'm not even entirely sure. Like, what the heck... What that kind of, uh... Fragment that is. I guess maybe we could try that one out, too. Let's go ahead and let's, um... Once again, let's take a nap. Let's go ahead and give this deep dark fragment a try. God dang you slime, be gone with ya. So I'm kind of thinking uh, an area to do this is going to be down where we just spawned the the abandoned mine shaft. Because I mean it's just a big open area, there's really nothing going on down here. Except for creepers. So let's go ahead and uh, just throw that down here because why the frig not. I wonder how big it's going to be. If it's going to be, like, a massive one, or if it's just something, uh, you know, something normal. Whoa. It went kind of weird. Oh, it's a deep... Oh. I see. It's not deep dark. It's deep slate. But it does give us, like, a little bit of, uh, you know, we get some access to Lapis. I don't know. Did I have Lapis before? I'm not entirely sure on that one. Fudge, I lost some of my Lapis. That sucks. Um... But that did pop out the use a dark fragment obtained from a cave, so we did get that one done. A little bit of redstone, that's actually kind of handy. How do I go about not losing my redstone here? I think what I have to do... Gonna have to do one of these doozies. You're not ready for one of these doozies. And uh, we got a little bit of gold up there. Very nice. Uh, so then we also have this malice fragment, and I'm a little bit... That kind of makes me nervous. Like, I don't like the sound of that. But I'm thinking I'm going to throw that one, too. Frig off. 
frig off with you. So I guess let's just right over here. Let's just throw it and see what happens. What is it? What are this? It almost looks like it wanted to spawn in a, uh, a dungeon. Ooh, you just got shot by your buddy. What an idiot. You know what I mean? Like, it looks like it wanted to be a, um, a spawner dungeon. But instead, it's just this. Oh, dang it. I forgot I had a fortune pickaxe. I need to keep that on me because that would have been really handy over there. I could have gotten fortune on my on my stuff that I just mined. All right, so next maneuver, I think let's go ahead and try and throw the stronghold fragment. I kind of I'm very very curious to see what's going to come of it, and I'm I'm feeling like it's going to be a big thing if it's a full on stronghold. So I'm going to go over to like that zone where we're throwing pyramids and jungle temples. I'm going to go ahead and like throw it over there because that's where the big structures have been going. We're going to need a decent amount of blocks here. Because uh, we're going to have to build up to Y equals 10 for this one. So we're going to need to throw a lot of blocks down. We're going to build like a staircase or something. Holy frig, there's a lot of baddies up here. Oh, frig. I, um, I just got blown up from behind. I needed to bring torches with me and I did not do that. I didn't realize what a spawning zone I was creating. That was my death. All right, so now I got some torches, some stuff to make more torches, so we can kind of light that up a little bit. Light it up. Holy crap, holy. Holy crap, holy. God dang. I'm getting out of here. I'm just leaving. I have no choice but to just leave. Oh, frig. Oh, frig. <laughs> it's so bad. I have not been lighting things up. Why am I getting witched? Why am I getting witched? No, 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 no. You dingus. You dumb idiot. I can't believe you've done this. Where you at? Get dinged. Oh, sugar. Is sugar useful? And is that a frag? Is there some kind of fragment in that, all that? There might have been a fragment in all that. All right, well, anyways, let's go ahead. We're at now Y negative 19. So let's go ahead and build our staircase up. We're going to kind of go. This is the highest point here, so we're going to go from here. All right, we've uh, we've achieved it. Y equals 10. It's uh, right here. So now just uh, going to build out a little bit of a platform here, like usual. And this is going to be where we throw our fragment. I don't know if this is going to be a big enough uh, platform here because, like, I don't know how big this thing's going to be, but we're going to... We're going to throw it out, and we're going to hope for the best. Oh, it went far. Okay, so it is just a straight-up, full-on stronghold. That is that is great. That's awesome. It's going to be a little bit hard to navigate, because it's just kind of all floating out in, you know... Oh, look at, look at how far it went. I'm glad I did come out here, because that really could have messed things up. And like uh, Codzilla said, you, can, uh, you do want to be careful if you're trying to make things nice. Because things will frig up your world. I'm a bit curious to find where the uh, portal is. I think that might be the portal room. So I'm going to try and make my way there. We got like blocks we can gather here now at least though. So that's good. Light it up a bit. Try and avoid some spawnage. We have this room. What is this room? It's got a chest in it. I don't know what kind of room this is though. We might get some valuable stuff out of the chest. Like coal. That's not bad. Bane of Arthropods. Protection 3. Power 4. That's actually a pretty good bow book. Or even the Protection 3 might be kind of useful. Creepers are not very useful, though. You, my friend, can frig off out of here. And you also. Skellington. Surprisingly, I haven't broken into any silverfish yet. I was really kind of figuring at least one of these blocks I break would be uh, silverfish. I think we should be all right to make our way over to there now. Have enough blocks for that. I hear silverfish now. We kind of came in at the back of it. Or the weird kind of side. There we go. Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh, they're breaking blocks. I hear them breaking blocks. I hate silverfish so much. God dang it, they're breaking everything. Stop. Chill. We have one filled in. Oh, <laughs> of course. <laughs> So it's going to be quite a journey to get to the point where I can, uh, you know, actually go into the end. 
Right, I'm gonna make my way towards that library there. Because usually you can get some good enchantments in the library. Another little opportunity to break some blocks here too. There's like absolutely no floor for me to stand on in this library. It's kind of insane. Except for up top here, it looks like there's uh, like the second floor. And we have chess. We have Frostwalker and Bane of Arthropods. They're giving me a lot of Bane of Arthropods. Why is that? Fireprot and Sharpness 3. Yo, good for a sword. Paper is pretty freaking good. Actually, this, I didn't even think of it before. This is actually a really good find right now because I was talking about doing enchantment and not having paper, not being able to get books. But now it's like, look, I have unlimited books. All the books I could ever need. All right, I have a question. Can you actually break diamond um, ore with gold pickaxe? That's actually something I hadn't thought of because I have the fortune gold pickaxe, but I don't know if I can actually... I don't know if I can actually break like diamond block with it. We actually have a second library too. And there's also usually chests down there. I love the floating ladder to, to death. Love me a good floating ladder to death. Village fragment, uh, smithing, uh, eye, eye armor trim, a um, couple books. Uh, but we do have a whole another one to explore down there. So I'm going to go ahead and try and make my way over to it. Alright, I'm jumping on in. Now let's see, what are we going to get? More books, of course. Uh, lure and Loyalty. I don't have a trident, not the best thing in the world. More armor trim. Then down here, let's see. Can I reach it? I just about can't reach it. Let's build in some blocks here. We're going to get uh, Infinity, Respiration, and Riptide. Yo, Infinity could be good for... I'm getting like pretty good bow books. I'm going to have a decent bow by the end of this. And uh, that's it. I gotta try and get my way back up top here. No, I fell into the void. Fudge. Alrighty, well, anyways, guys, thanks for watching another episode of the Void Hero Map. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit that like button down below. It helps out a bunch. Subscribe to the channel and turn on those notifications so that way you're not gonna miss out on any of the future streams or videos. You can join the Discord if you wanna come by and chat. And also, if you wanna help support the channel and the videos and stuff that I do, all it is is 99 cents a month to become a member, but that also gets you a bunch of cool perks. Like, you're going to get access to a 24-7 cross-platform vanilla Minecraft server that you could join whenever you want, or you can join with me when I stream it on Fridays. You'll also get emojis next to your name that say what level you are, emojis you can use in the chat on live streams or video comments. Also, uh, you can check out merch. This hat that I'm wearing here, this shirt that I'm wearing here, um, if that's something you'd be interested in also. But uh, anyways, guys, thanks again for watching, and hopefully we'll see you in the next one. Peace.